what else? Today we are making a racerback dress with sheer overlay. It'll also have panels cut out in the back. We're gonna start with a skirt that fits us really well and use the skirt as our pattern. You can make it whatever length you desire. Next, we're gonna grab our sheer fabric. This is the fabric that will go over the skirt that we just cut out. And you're gonna, I want mine to be long, so whatever length you want yours to be, measure it down and then cut the sheer panel. To get the measurements for that, it'll be approximately the same measurement as the skirt that you just cut. Maybe an inch or so more in the same allowance, but it's basically the same width. Okay, grab your skirt because we have not sewn it together just yet. We're gonna hem the bottom of the skirt first. So each, the front and the back piece, we're going to hem it first. And make sure you hem it and that it's even so that you won't have an uneven skirt. So fold your hems so that they match. We have our hemmed skirt pieces. And so what we're gonna do is take the side with the hem facing up and lay it on top of one of the sheer panels. So we want the hem up. This will actually be the inside of the skirt. As you can see, I have a little bit of room left here. I'm just gonna cut those off, cut it down so it's even with the skirt. So I'm gonna do that with both sides. Once you cut the sides off, then go ahead and pin the skirt together with the panel. Once it's pinned, go ahead and take it over to the sewing machine and sew the sides together. Sew the panel separately. We're gonna take the right side together. So that means whatever part you're gonna see, because this is a little different, whatever part you're gonna see on the outside, that's the part we're gonna put these right sides together. Then we're going to pin it all together. Take it over to the sewing machine, finish those off, and then I'm also gonna finish this off with the overlock machine. To make the top, I'm gonna to use a racer bag top that I already have. What I'm gonna do is take it and fold it so that the side seams are matching. I'm working with the front half of the shirt. I'm gonna match up the front half of the shirt to use it as my pattern. Pin it together. Don't forget we want that top to match the skirt so they have to be cut in the same proportion. So right there the skirt is folded in half and I need the top part of the skirt to match that. Cutting the top on the fold. Cut the front strap all the way up to the seam where the front of the racer back connects to the back. That's where we're going to start uh, and we're going to mark it there and that's where we're going to cut. Cut the fabric that is not the razor bag, the fabric. Mark it at the bottom so you'll know where to cut. I'm gonna go out at least an inch because I have to have room for seam allowance. Trace it all the way up to the seam. Don't go beyond the seam, seam because we want it to be even with the skirt. Once it is traced, go ahead and cut it out. Right here to assist me with the arm, the curve on the armhole, I'm gonna use my curved ruler. If you don't have one, use half of a bowl or use a very small plate. Front of our shirts. If you cut it too wide, just fold that shirt right back over and fold your skirt in half. This is the front of our shirt only. It's too big. It's too big. Mark it and just cut off the excess. Here's the front of our skirt. The rest of that is the seam allowance. So we got a, we have the front of our shirt. Now we need to make the back. For the back, I'm gonna open it up for the, so that the width is utilized. And I'm going to just trace it all the way around, just like I did the front, except for this time I'm not working on the fold. Just trace it all around to the seams and use uh, the curve ruler if you have one to help you with the neckline. Trace it and just cut it out. That's it. Just fold it in half. Fold it in half and I've decided that I'm gonna put probably a sheer panels in the back. So I've gotten my clear ruler 
folded the shirt in half, marked straight down the middle, and I've aligned my ruler right up the middle along with some um, fabric weights. So I'm just going to mark where this is. After you have marked it, go ahead and cut it out. Keep the panel you just cut because we're going to use it as the pattern piece to cut off the shear. I measured down five and a half inches from each arm hole, from where the arm hole will be. So what I'm going to do is draw a line all the way across. Make sure all this is even. I've drawn a line all the way across to there. I'm going to measure up one inch from there. So it's going to go down, but I think I'm going to go up. One inch from there, I'm going to measure up. Lay the ruler back on that on a one inch um, mark that you just made. Mark that all the way across. So that will be the other panel. Then cut that out. Grab the panel that you cut from the top and lay it on top of the shear and go ahead and cut it out. We're gonna cut a little bit of ways out, at least a half an inch out for seam allowance. Do the same thing for the other two panels, but I'm gonna cut these on a fold because I need two panels of the same smaller panel. Because this is cut like a square, and it's hard to sew the panels in, I'm just gonna snip the top part of this off so that I can add my panel in. Working with the wrong side of the shirt, I'm going to start pinning my uh, panels in place, my shirt panels in place. Then I'll take it over to the sewing machine and sew it in place. I'll do each panel piece by piece, just like that. And that piece is on there. And because it's sheer, you can see through. So what we're going to do, fold the fabric, fold it up. Fold that seam allowance up. And we're going to sew right there, put the uh, presser foot right there and sew right along there. now. When you are putting the side panels on of the top, now, don't make sure you don't go over too far like I did because I just was moving too fast. Take about a half an inch and roll that, the sheer part over. So when you grab this, the side panel, this, the sheer part, fold it over as if it were a seam and then add the, add the side fabric. Then pin this all the way down, size down on the overlock machine. Okay, so I'll pin in. That's what it will look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to the machine and sew it all together. Just a little side note, sew that part up first, that side panel, sew that up first, and then that top panel we sew across afterwards. Once those sides are sewn on, flip it down and right here where we left that little half corner off, fold it. See where you can see that in the front? We're going to fold that up and so that we're attaching both of those sides and turning that uh, the seam allowance out the way so you can't see it. Up next is our other panel. The little side side panel. Again, make sure you take at least a half an inch or to an inch of that top part off the, you know, if you sewn it, if you have sewn it all the way down, take a little piece off so that we can so that we can get our little side on there, our little fabric. Go ahead and pin the side side panel, the little um, shorter one. Go ahead and pin that in place and sew it down just like you did the other panel. Sew that down. We're gonna all flip it up again, like we did the other side. I mean the top, so that the seam allowance is out of the way. Then sew this first, and then we're gonna sew the sides together after that. Once you have sewn those on, then we're gonna sew the sides down. Then we're gonna sew the side. Make sure you flip 
the seam allowance that will be showing through the front and then go ahead and let's sew the side of it. So you're literally going to take this front part, lift this upward so, and then let's sew these points together. And it'll look like that when we're done. So, sewn on the other panels. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do like I did with the rest of it. Turn the bottom piece. This time I'm going to turn it down so that it'll be all the way up the front. And I'm going to go ahead and pin this all the way down and sew that together. Okay. All of my panels have been installed with the sheer panels, but I did not want that seam allowance to show like I thought before. So I just use this. Um, Pin the front and the back panel shirts together and pin them at the sides and then make sure the armholes match and take it over to the sewing machine and let's sew it. Neckline and armhole, simply going to put the fabric, roll it once, then roll it twice, pin it down and sew it. I'm gonna do that all the way around the neckline and the shoulder part. I used a different color elastic because I wanted to break up some of all that pink. It's called salmon and I just wanted to break some of it up. The end that you have sewn, pull it, mark that with the chalk so that you'll know that that's your marker. So you know that's your spot. Then that marking that you just made, take that and match it with the other seam. And then, then mark these two. With your chalk. So now we have all of those things where everything matches. Okay. Then grab your skirt and mark it the same way you did the elastic. Then the seams in together, mark those, and then put those together, and then mark the other ends. Grab your elastic and some pens, and we're going to actually pin this elastic in the inside of the skirt. Because I'm going to expose it on the outside. So I'm going to pin it in the inside and I'm going to take all of those markings that are marked on the skirt and the elastic and mash them up together. There will be some slack in between, but don't worry about that because we're going to stretch the skirt and the elastic slightly when we sew it. You can just do your elastic on the outside and just and then flip it up, but I chose to do it this way. Do whatever way is comfortable for you. What I've done also is I brought my needle over as far as I can bring it over to the edge. And then I am going to gently pull it and sew this right to the edge. All right, do that all the way around. Sewn it on. I've sewn it on. So the next step is to bend that, el that elastic outward. Remember you sewed it on in the inside. So just flip it and pin it the same way you did the first elastic and then we're going to sew it right here at the top so it'll be on, you know, so it'll be on the outside. Then we're going to slightly pull it when we sew it just like we did on the other side. Outside and I'm sewing on the outside of the skirt this time and I'm just going to put, sew it right down along the top and I'm going to have to do this carefully so that the dress isn't, this inside part won't go down. So I'm going to pull it gently like I did it the first time and then just go around the whole thing. So I'm going to connect the top to the skirt. The elastic, the colored elastic will be showing. So what I'm going to do is the same way I mark the elastic for the skirt and the skirt to fit the elastic. So I have these two seams. I already know that they match. I don't have to mark those. But I bring them in together. So I can mark there. And the other one goes inside the sheer part. Okay. Take your shirt, turn it inside out. Your skirt, the right turn side. Turn your shirt upside down. Your skirt right through the top of it. Because when you peel it up, the wrong, you know, it'll tilt the right side. 
right way. So, place it inside. Go ahead and match all your notches and pin it. Okay, so I'll pin it on. I'm going to take it over to the machine. 